Christ, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor be to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, better known as GMS, who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the tabernacle of David, beginning with 144,000, and the rest of the men, women, and children out of the 12,000 tribes, or the 12 uh, tribes of Israel, Salakia, so slip of the tongue there, all right, the 12 tribes of Israel, that is, whom Yahweh Bashem Yahweh will have mercy upon. And this is your brother Matazabath, back again, going into the series of the book of Revelation, and we are continuing on with chapter 5. And so, get it into this chapter, all right, goes into um, Yahweh Shai being the lamb that was slain, all right, before the throne. All right, that was not only given power, all right, dominion, all right, and full authority, all right, but it was because of him dying on the cross, um, being able to send down the Holy Spirit to be able to give us the true understanding of the scriptures in these last days, all right? And so, with that being said, let's start off here at the top, Revelation chapter 5 and verse 1, and it says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with the seven seals right now the person that john the revelator is describing having to sit on the throne is the heavenly father yahweh verse 2 and i saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof right and the reason being is because at one particular point in time, all right, the um, the Bible was shut, right? Let's get a precept. Let's get Isaiah, the 29th chapter. <clears throat> and I'm going to start at um, verse 9. It says, Stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. And they are drunken, but not with wine. And they stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord Yahweh have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and hath closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers hath he covered. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. You see? So this is um, an indication showing you that back then, during the time of even Isaiah, the, uh, the prophet, when he prophesied, um, at a particular point in time, all right, Israel as a nation, they, they couldn't get the understanding of the prophecies. They couldn't get the understanding of the breakdowns, right? So going back to Revelation, the fifth chapter, verse three, it says, And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look uh, thereon, right? And so let's get another precept. Let's get the book of Daniel, chapter 12 and verse. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, we'll start at verse. Um, yeah, verse. Uh, we'll start at verse for context. Uh, verse four says, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. And many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. And we're in that time now where that's how, you know, we at the end because um, the seals have pretty much been loosed um, through Yahweh, uh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Because when Yahweh Shai died on the cross, that's when everything, um, you know, became available for him to pretty much sit um, <clears throat> on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father and to give us the uh, spirit of truth. 
All right, which we're going to get into that. But dropping down in this chapter, verse eight, it says, and I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. All right. So once again, the scriptures was completely sealed um, until, you know, the very end time, which is evident proof that we are in the last days and we're in the end time because the scriptures, um, the, the prophecies and everything has been revealed. All right. As the scripture says, he revealed this secret unto his service to prophets. Right. So building off of that, let's go back. Revelation, the fifth chapter. All right. <clears throat> and uh, we left off verse four. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book and neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof, right? And so essentially when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, let's look this up. Um, matter of fact, let's go to John real quick. Um, 14th chapter. And let me see here. Yeah, I'm going to start at, um, let's see, I want to get straight to the point. Um, let's see if I can find a precept, because pretty much, yeah, let me see, John 16. Actually. see if I could find it for you. Yep. That's what I want. John 16 and seven, uh, seven Salakia. I knew it was, um, in the book of John, but I just couldn't remember the chapter John 16 and seven. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away for if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he has come, he will prove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. All right. And because that comforter represents the spirit of truth. All right. Going back to John, the 14th chapter. This is John chapter 14. Starting at verse 16, it says, and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. All right. And so when you drop down to verse 26, it says, but the comforter, which is known as the spirit of truth or which is the Holy Ghost, whom the father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. And this is part of Yahweh Shai loosening the seals off the book. And he was able to give us the understanding. That's why he said in John, going back to John, the 16th chapter in verse seven, that if he didn't go away, all right, if he didn't suffer down across and go back to the heavenly father, then the understanding of this book would not be able, it would not be accessible for us. That's why he said what he said, if he is, is profitable for him to go away so that the spirit of truth can uh, be sent unto us. So when you go back to Revelation, the fifth chapter. In verse five, again, it says, and one of the elders said unto me, weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seers thereof. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns, which represents complete power and seven eyes, which represents uh, omniscience. All right. All seeing, all knowing which are the seven spirits of the most high sent forth into all the earth. All right. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne, showing you that Yahweh Shah and Yahweh are two different entities. 
Okay. It says, and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and 20 elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials of full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song saying, thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain and has redeemed us to the most high by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto our power kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. Now, what the essentially was being stated here is um, that they've acknowledged that Yahweh Shai has redeemed uh, Israelites. All right. The nation of Israel. He has not redeemed anyone else because the precept to this. Let's go to Galatians. All right, Galatians, Salakia, chapter four, and verse four, which says, but when the fullness of time of the time Salakia was come, the most High sent forth his son made of a woman made under the law to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoptions of sons. And who was under the law? Psalms 147 verses 19 through 20. And he showeth his word unto Jacob his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So only the nation of Israel, okay, was redeemed because they were the only ones under that, uh, that first covenant. All right. So when you go back to revelation five, okay, let's go into this word kindred in the Greek real quick. All right. And you have here the um, the word fule, which essentially means outline of biblical usage says a tribe or a in the NT, meaning New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. So that's in context of who was actually speaking about, because remember, all right, the nation of Israel were scattered. So when it talks about they they uh, redeemed or Yahweh Shai <clears throat> redeemed us, meaning the Israelites, okay, by the blood uh, to the Most High by the by, uh, by his own blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Because remember, in the book of Acts, you had Acts the second chapter, you had um, Jews, devout men, um, dwelling in Jerusalem out of every nation under heaven why because we were scattered okay we were scattered and so um salakia give me one second all right salakia so picking up revelation 5 and 10 it says and has made us unto our power kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth and essentially um this shows you that he wasn't talking about all nations all right, because the precept to this, let's go to Exodus, the 19th chapter and verse five, which says, now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. See that? And these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And that never changed because a lot of people mistake the New Testament as not just being salvation unto the Jews. All right. Which a lot of people think the Jews consist of all 12 tribes, which that's incorrect. The Jews only consisted of three tribes out of the southern kingdom, which represented Judah, Benjamin and Levi. You still had the other 10 tribes or the other nine tribes, such as um, the northern kingdom. They were not called Jews. They were just called Israelites or the nation of Israel. Right. And so let's uh, get another precept in the book of Peter, because remember, Peter was the head apostle. and He was in charge of the circumcision. And this is what he said. This is first Peter, chapter two and verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation. OK, speaking of Israel, a royal priesthood and holy nation, a peculiar people that ye shall show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of the most high, which had not obtained mercy, but now hath obtained mercy. Because Israel was called not a people and the proof of that, let's go to Hosea. 
chapter one. All right, which this whole chapter is fire. But let's get to the point. Verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel this is the context being established shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. You see there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. Then shall the children of Judah, southern kingdom, and the children of Israel, northern kingdom, be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land. For great shall be the day of Jezreel, which is another name for um, Yasharala for Israel. All right. So going back, that's how you know who the Messiah actually came back for. Revelation 5 and 11, it says, and I beheld. And I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast and the elders and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Right. Which ultimately speaking, let's get a precept. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 68, I believe, in verse 17. It says the chariots of the most high are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord Yahweh is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. OK, so this is what John, a revelator, is saying. All right. Thousands of angels. Right. It says for uh, back here, <clears throat> verse 12, saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the lamb forever and ever. So both to Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai and the four beasts, which represents the four archangels said, Aman and the four and 20 elders fell down and worshiped him that live forever and ever. All right. And so that's pretty much it going into um, this chapter, Revelation, the fifth chapter. And um, I pray that it was edifying. So with that, give all praise, glory and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, better known as GMS, who were well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Until the next time, I'll see you in parts, uh, the next part, Revelation, the sixth chapter, Lord's will. Shalom.